Hi, and thanks for coming to my channel. I'm your Everyday Joe. In today's recipe, I'm going to be making shepherd's pie using my trusty power air fryer oven. So stay tuned. If you want to show support to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. And to stay up to date on new content, when we release it, ring the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. The ingredients we're going to need for this recipe, we're going to be using some leftover leg of lamb, or you can use some meatloaf mix, some ground beef or chicken, about a pound and a half of Idaho potatoes, half an onion, four ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese, some peas and carrots, onion powder, minced garlic, salt, black pepper, olive oil, paprika, and any other seasonings you like. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to take these peeled potatoes. Now you can boil them as usual just to make a mashed potato. Uh, what I like to do is I'm going to put them in the microwave. I put a little bit of liquid in here. You can use a chicken broth or a little bit of water, uh, maybe a couple of tablespoons, not much. Uh, add a little salt to it. So we're just going to add a little bit of salt to the top here. We're going to season it afterwards too. We just want to get enough moisture in there so, uh, so we can steam them enough to cook. Uh, like I said, uh, we're going to be using the microwave oven for this. Just get a container, add a little bit of liquid to it, put it in your microwave oven, uh, depending on how big your potatoes are. Now you can dice them up, make it easier, uh, or you can leave them whole depending on, again, the size. These are pretty small. Uh, it's probably going to take about seven or eight minutes. Uh, just test them with the fork, make sure the fork goes through. Uh, if they do, then we're good to go and uh, we'll, I'll... I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, so we're going to be putting this in the microwave oven. Uh, I chopped them up, diced them up, kind of thick dice, added a little bit of water to the base and olive oil and salt. You want to make sure that you also cover, cover your bowl before you put it in the microwave. So I'm going to cover that up, close that door, and we're going to set it for about eight minutes on high. When it comes out, I'll show you what they look like. The next ingredient we're going to talk about is this leg of lamb. Now, this leg of lamb is, was leftover leg of lamb from this video here, and I'll leave it on the side here, uh, from a boneless leg of lamb that I made. Uh, so I had maybe about a pound left over, a pound and a half. So I just diced it up, and we're going to use it in a shepherd's pie. Now, shepherd's pie normally has, traditionally has lamb in it hence the word shepherd's pie. Uh, but I have made it with uh, ground beef or a ground meatloaf mix. Uh, you can use uh, any one you, you prefer. It'll work just fine. But because this is leftover uh, cooked leg of lamb, we don't have to cook it. We're just gonna mix it all together. The only thing we're gonna do is saute some onions and garlic and uh, the peas and the carrots. So I'll take you over to the stovetop and we'll get that sauteing done. And then I'll bring you back here for the assembling. In a large skillet, heat up one to two tablespoons of olive oil on medium to high heat. Add the diced onion and salt and pepper to taste. Now add the minced garlic, saute until the onions have softened and are translucent. Next, add the lamb meat and about one half cup of chicken broth or stock. To thicken the sauce, add one teaspoon of cornstarch or potato starch and continue cooking until the liquid thickens and reduces and the meat is thoroughly cooked. Add your peas and carrots and stir to heat through. Remove the mixture from the heat and let cool slightly. Okay, so the potatoes uh, are done here. Uh, you can see they're still steaming. Uh, I did add two extra minutes, so 10 minutes in the microwave. Uh, seems to work and we'll just put that there all right and you can see they really soft they got really soft here so it's uh, uh, really it's gonna be really easy to mash what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about another tablespoon of butter get in there another tablespoon of butter and some grated cheese Parmesan cheese probably about a tablespoon Okay, and maybe a, I don't know, eighth of a cup, quarter cup milk. 
We're just going to put a little bit in for now. Get a nice mash in there. So we want to make sure that we can get in there. Now you can do it with a, a hand blender. That's fine too. I figure this way here is pretty quick. You don't have to take out any extra, any extra equipment to do it. Okay, and once you start, uh, once you get enough of a mash in there, because you, you want it kind of creamy, you want it because you're going to lay it on top there. So, I mean, if you like yours lumpy, then hey, it's your recipe, your way. We don't judge here at Everyday Joe's. Okay, and for all you people who are going to complain about me cooking in the microwave, I'm not listening. So, it works for me. And you can do it your way. But for the rest of us, this is going to work just fine. So put in a little bit of extra milk. Okay. All right. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to stir in some of this mozzarella cheese in here. Because I like my mashed potatoes cheesy. They're not cheesy potatoes. They're cheesy potatoes. So we're going to finish this up. Okay, it looks like, I mean, they're very well mashed now. So really nice. So you can, you can see nice, nice and fluffy. So for you people who didn't think you could make mashed potatoes out of the microwave, ha! So, so here we go. I mean, you can see it's really good. Really good here. So I'm going to mix in some of this. I'm going to put about half of that. I mean, that's about four ounces. About half of that, and we'll put the rest on top. So I just want to get that just slightly mixed in. It doesn't matter if, the, if it melts in there right now because it's going gonna, it's gonna to bake for a little while. Okay. All right. So I uh, let this lamb mixture cool down a little bit. And I placed it in this uh, Pyrex type bowl uh, or container, which fits just nicely in here. This is a, an eight by eight. So it fits just nicely in there. So we're gonna cook it in the power air fry oven. So I wanna make sure it's all pressed down. All right, then we're gonna take our mashed potatoes and we're just gonna just, oh, you can see the cheese already melting. All right, man. Right, we're just going to add that to the top. And this is a, you know, a good, good way to use up some of your leftovers, leftover meats. If, if you have uh, you know, beef, lamb, you know, uh, you know, heck, even pork probably work really good in here. You know, anything you have is a leftover meat. You know, dice it up and make a shepherd's pie. So I'm just going to press it in here a little bit just to get it flattened out. Okay. And uh, just uh, leave some comments at the bottom. You know, let me know how you make your shepherd's pie if you use the traditional lamb or if you use uh, a different, different type of recipe. Yeah, we'll match recipes and and uh, kind of work with each other. That's what uh, the social media is for anyway. All right, so now that I've got that all pressed in, I'm gonna get some cheese on the top here. So just spread that around. And I'm just gonna, because it's going in the uh, power air fry oven, I'm gonna press it down a little bit because sometimes the fan tends to blow stuff around a little bit, but just lightly press it down so it kind of sticks to the uh, potatoes. Okay. So now we're ready to place it in the power fry oven. So we'll just get rid of all that. So we just open this up. I'm going to take, and I'm not covering it up. Everything is already cooked. Basically, all we're going to do is, uh, is make sure the cheese gets melted and just gets nice and steamy and uh, maybe get a nice crust on it. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Now, you notice this uh, type of Pyrex has got handles like this. It doesn't fit in this way here because uh, it ends up hitting the rotisserie uh, block. 
but if you put it in with the handles this way because the back is more rounded, it fits perfectly. So we just close that in, make sure it's closed. We're gonna set this to 400 for, for about 15 minutes and we're gonna let it ride. And as soon as this is done, I'll bring you back and we'll take a look and uh, maybe give it a little taste and figure out how we did. Okay, now the pie we have for our oven just finished uh, baking our shepherd's pie. Uh, I did lower the time, uh, 15 was a little much, so 12, 13 minutes seems to be the uh, ideal spot for this batch anyway. So let's open that up and put on the other glove because this bad boy is gonna be hot. So let's take this out, so take a look at that. Ah, what a nice crust. Look at that, that's nice. So, and it smells really good too. All right, let's close that up. All right, so let's, uh, let's see. Aha, oh, what a crust, huh? That's great. All right, so we're just gonna scoop some into a dish here. Hopefully it's not too hot. So, oh, look at that. Nice. Huh? Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, you can see it. See it. You can see it really nice in there. You got a little bit of juices. Not, I didn't want it too liquidy. Uh, if you want it more, uh, more a lot more uh, uh, gravy in there, go ahead and add a little bit more broth uh, during the saute and you'll be, you'll be fine. Uh, but I think drier is a little bit better for my version of shepherd's pie. So let's, uh, let's see. I mean, this thing is really, really steaming right now. So, but really, really good. I mean, the texture is really nice. Not, not too wet, not too dry. Look at that, you got some cheese in there. Okay, I'm going in. Hmm. Mm, that's really good. Oh yeah, it gives it a nice flavor. And uh, even uh, the uh, leftover lamb, you never know that it's leftover. Uh, it just cooks up really well uh, when you saute with all the vegetables and the, the extra broth and the, a little bit of butter and oil. It kind of brings that lamb right back to life. So right now, I mean, it's really tender. The, uh, the lamb came out really tender. The flavor is fantastic. It's not soupy. It's got a nice cheesy crust to it. So all in all, I think uh, the Power F5 oven did a good job cooking this. So if you like the video, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Give me some likes. Go ahead and share. Uh, I'll leave the link for the lamb video right on the side here. And uh, I'd like to thank you for spending some time with us. We enjoy having you here and uh, you know, watching us cook our recipes and, and enjoying the recipes. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.